people welcome back to my channel my name is Aggie in case you're new here uh, as you guys have read the title in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my morning routine basically uh, my daily house chores let me just put it that way so thank you so much for clicking by the way guys thank you thank you so much and if you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed kindly hit that subscribe button so I just want to update you guys uh, that. I'm one person who doesn't have a nanny and I don't think I'm having a nanny anytime soon I'm taking a break from having a nanny so that's why I have to do my chores uh, by myself because I'm a stay-at-home mom and uh, that is what I do every day so I I always make recipes by the way in, uh, on my channel if you subscribe if you subscribe like a little earlier on uh, you must know that I do basically a lot of recipe videos and I just wanted to start incorporating uh, some other stuff on my channel so that you guys don't get bored because I know that uh, you cannot watch recipe videos back to back and so I thought maybe it would be nice uh, to try to accommodate and everybody in case you're into vlogs and you're into cleaning videos you can always get something to watch and also make of videos like yeah so my morning routine tends to differ from day to day I have days where I have different things that I have to do uh, for example during the week uh, when my kids are going to school I have to wake up a little bit earlier as compared to the weekend Sundays I tend to uh, want to relax a little bit more so I just want to tell you guys that my morning routine is not always the same and when you're watching this maybe I'll do another morning routine which will be quite different yeah so basically as you guys saw I woke up uh, like about uh, 20 minutes ago so right now I'm about to go uh, make breakfast and it's just me and the kids so whatever they want is whatever we'll have and today they wanna have uh, just tea and bread because I tend to make whatever they want because I know they will eat and finish instead of me making eggs which they will not eat I think I feel like they always prefer to have eggs for dinner or for lunch yeah so let's go guys I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video and by the way if you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed kindly hit that subscribe button hit it hit it hit it do not uh, watch my videos and you do not subscribe so kindly just hit that subscribe button it will mean so much to me don't forget to like this video uh, because it also helps to grow my channel so guys 
thank you so much and i'm gonna take you guys through with a voiceover during the video because it's very difficult to record a video at the same time you're talking as it's at the same time you're doing your house chores so it's gonna be very very difficult and so i'd like to apologize for that i'm gonna take you guys through with a voiceover just to update you on some of the things that i feel that you really need to know so come with me guys So the first thing that I do when I get into my kitchen every morning is just to clear out the kitchen to do the dishes. I usually do the dishes at night but, but you guys know that you cannot be doing dishes every night. There are nights when you just feel overwhelmed and you feel so tired just want to go to bed so sometimes I let the dishes stay overnight so that I can do uh, the dishes in the morning. So before I make breakfast I would like to have a clean kitchen and that is why the first thing I do is just to uh, clear out the dishes. So for my pots and pans, uh, I use the sunlight bar soap and this steel wool. I have forgotten the brand, but uh, I, when I'm shopping for uh, steel wool for scrubbing my pans, I always try to look for uh, very soft steel wire, very soft ones, because the rough ones tend to be very aggressive on your hands, and also they don't make the pots to shine as much as I want them. So those are the products that I use for scrubbing my pots and pans in case uh, anybody is interested. So once my dishes are cleared and my cooker is clean now I get the energy to make breakfast and the first thing that I put on the fire is tea so as the tea is cooking the next thing that I do is just to clean up the sink I really enjoy cleaning my sink I always want it uh, very bright and scrubbed and very shiny so that's what I'm doing right now
when I'm done with the dishes and the tea is not yet ready I just uh, go ahead and just clean up uh, surfaces that I haven't wiped for a while like on top of the fr on top of the fridge I tend to clean the microwave uh, because you know when you leave tea on its own in the kitchen uh, to boil you'll find a huge mess on your cooker so I try to stay busy that way by just cleaning other surfaces that need cleaning in the kitchen as I wait for my tea to boil So guys at this point now it's time for us to have breakfast and that's me and the kids just enjoying our breakfast and after breakfast now it's cleaning time I've got a feeling and the first room that I always start with cleaning is my bedroom because basically I've already made the bed at that point so it's just uh, wiping out the dust where uh, it's dusty and just uh, making up the bed in case uh, the kids came and jumped on it but basically my room doesn't need much cleaning at this point so I use aerials for mopping I always try to interchange sometimes I use bleach sometimes I just use pure water or sometimes I just use uh, powdered soap it's like I don't have to So after cleaning my room the next room that I get to clean is the kids room and right now there is not there is not a lot uh, to do apart from dusting and just uh, spreading the bed the upper bed has not been slept on so there because my son is not around so I don't need to spread it so it's just dusting basically in this room and sweeping and mopping that I cannot explain you were something different but I don't want to change Slowly but surely You began to fade Things were finally changing And I was not afraid guys uh, just a quick update uh, let me tell you guys I know most of you guys must be wondering on the finishes of this house I just wanted to update you guys that we live in a very old house and we love it because it's so spacious I don't really think I'll be moving out soon unless probably you know when your husband gets a job elsewhere then you have to definitely move but at the moment I love this house the only thing that we are left to do is just to upgrade it a little bit just make it a little bit more modern because nowadays when you walk around and you're house hunting you notice that uh, houses have very beautiful finishes but it's very small like the rooms are tiny like the, the last time i was house hunting for a three bedroom house let me just say that was a one bedroom house uh, which was like subdivided because the rooms were really tiny like after you put your bed you don't have any other space so that's why we love this house and if you look at the finishes we've tried to make it look a little bit better by painting and stuff so it's not bad to live in an old house like me personally i prefer old houses because they are more spacious you just have to modernize it a little bit and it will look fantastic So after cleaning the bathroom, I head over to the living room and usually the seats are quite 
dusty with the food particles and stuff so it's just wiping and probably sweeping i have days where i do thorough cleaning like mop behind the chairs uh, and just do a thorough cleaning like when i say thorough cleaning you know what i mean just dust everywhere and sweep everywhere but uh, today is not the day today is just for light dusting and just sweeping and arranging the living room this bed that i'm in feels too big without you don't know how to quit thinking about you those green eyes sweet lips your hands on my hips our puzzle pieces fit these sheets your smell can't be by myself i'm asking for your help what i need you to do is love me Have you near me? Now it's too late, too loud. We move through the crowd. Look for the best way out. Love me. Guys, I know a lot of you guys must be wondering why I'm not ironing clothes. I don't iron clothes. I only iron my husband's clothes, which he wears in case he's going uh, uh, to work or he's going out. And our clothes, which we wear in case we are going out. But when it comes to clothes that we just wear indoors, I've learned that it's okay not to iron. I used to, I used to be one person who would not even uh, uh, wear clothes that are not ironed. But nowadays, because life has changed, I now have like three kids and I don't have a nanny. I cannot handle ironing so what I do is just like neatly fold them and then after a while they'll just be straightened up so that is exactly what I do I only iron my husband's clothes especially the ones he wears to work so that's basically what I do because even the power usage if you are to iron all these clothes like almost every day I don't know how much you're going to be spending on power because these uh, these prepaid tokens they are so expensive like yeah they are too too expensive so i've learned that it's okay not to iron i iron in case even if it's bed sheets i only iron when i need to put them uh, or to spread them on the bed but if i'm not spreading them i just fold them and and right now i don't even have the time like it's already late and i haven't finished everything that i need to do so i'm just gonna fold them yeah Oh, 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 oh. 
so guys uh as you guys can see i've already shared with you my morning routine okay i think we are we need to like okay guys so as you guys have seen i've shared with you my morning routine uh, like i told you guys earlier it's not always the same i have different things which i do every day i hope you guys really enjoyed the video and uh, that was a whole heap of clothes i'm so exhausted right now like i still have other things that i need to do for example i need to wash my kids like give them give my kids a bath I need to take a shower, I need to go for vegetables because we've run out of vegetables so I need to go get some, prepare them and then at around 4 o'clock I'll be able to make dinner for the family. So that's basically my morning routine like I told, like I told you guys earlier it tends to differ with the days and I also have specific days for doing stuff like I have days for cleaning each room, uh, I have days for laundry, I have days for for thorough cleaning the whole house so i've learned to live like that without a nanny and i think it's really like i would say i've gotten used to it there are days where i feel a little bit overwhelmed but there are days where i just feel like i'm fine uh especially when you wake up in the morning it's quite exhausting and you always feel like hey will i be able to make it like i think i need to get a nanny now but after you're done with your chores and uh you realize that uh, it's doable actually and uh, at that time you're like okay i can still do without a nanny but i just love the peace that i get when i don't have a nanny because hey whew, that's maybe a story for another day like i've had like a really bad experience with some of the nannies that i've had and uh right now i'm just i'm just like taking a break like i'm just taking a break i'm not saying that i will never have a nanny but i'm just taking a break from everything because i feel like if i'm to get somebody now with the kind of mentality that i have i don't want to be how do i put it like right now like i feel like i don't need one so if i'm to bring somebody here with the mentality that i don't need a nanny i don't think it would be fair because i know there are good nannies out there but for me i've had i've had good nannies let me just put it that way and i've had like uh, horrible experiences with some and uh, i wouldn't say that everybody's the same but right now i'm just taking a break like i'm trying to learn of how to how to manage my house by myself and there are a few things which i've learned over the years because i've been without a nanny for almost two years now there are a couple of things which i've learned or if you don't have a nanny or you don't have a house help like uh, learn to wake up early learn to clean as you go uh that's basically how i survive i wake up uh, i try to wake up uh, a lot earlier and then like for uh, laundry i get somebody to do it for me like once a week when i'm feeling uh, tired yeah because there are days where i can do laundry by myself but since i don't have a laundry machine in case you're like wondering so when i feel like i can do it i always do it but when i feel like i'm overwhelmed i just get somebody to at least help me with the laundry and then all i do is fold as you guys had seen before so guys i'm so glad that you guys got to watch this video up to here and i'm so excited guys i'm so excited that i'll be sharing with you a couple of videos like this and if you like them kindly let, kindly let me know in the comment section if you like such videos so that i'll be able to do more yeah so guys thank you so much for watching and i hope that i'll be able to see you guys in my next video kindly subscribe if you haven't share this video give this video a thumbs up and i hope that i'll be able to see you guys in my next video